show it breaking free. Sound good. Yeah, it's, it's not really that much. That's probably good enough. Okay, just about to install the new sleeves. We have the cylinders lubed up and we're about to heat them and we have the sleeves waiting on dry ice to cool them off and make them smaller. Look at it change color. It just, I don't want to drag my feet. Yeah. It's too late, it's done, easy. Looks good. Better. We should tighten right up. back to temp. You know, it doesn't take long. Do one more and that's... We can taper off for today. Yeah. Oh, that's the one we wanted. Look at that. What's that? Today. Done. It's just not too bad. Sticking those sleeve liners in. If you use dry ice, that is. Those went real easy. Compared to some of the stuff I've seen online. Now I'm tapping out the head bolt holes so that we get an even torque just chasing them with a tap. Uh, if there's any piece of grit or grime in there in the threads then it'll trip the torque wrench too soon and the bolt won't be properly torqued and chances of blowing a head gasket are higher that way so cleaning out before the reinstall
that a, if throttle cable comes out, it doesn't go back in, right? No. Well, you can do it, I guess, right? Yeah. All right, I'll just put the choke on. Just completed the rebuild of the Toyota L engine, their four cylinder diesel. This is a 1983. I replaced the sleeves, cylinder sleeves, and piston rings. Both were very worn, um, seemingly prematurely, as there is only 195,000 on the engine. Um, possibly evidence of running without an air filter in an attempt to gain more power by the previous owner, or starting with ether quite a bit um, if he did not replace his glow plugs in time and was having a difficult time starting these glow plugs looked pretty new really clean so um, finished the rebuild today I put 10 miles on it since it runs great smoking blue um, I think that's kind of to be expected on a fresh rebuild um, still oil getting past the rings and everything um, yeah let me start it up and give you a shot of it running here starts right up Cylinder sleeves were from Precision International in Australia. They were about $120, um, so relatively inexpensive. Uh, shipping was about $170, so that was kind of a bummer. And the uh, piston rings were from Hastings. I don't remember how much they were, maybe 60 bucks or so for the set, so really not a big deal. Uh, Hastings are said to be good rings, so we'll find out. So far, I'm really happy. It's only been 10 miles, but uh, we'll see how it goes.